Hello everyone out there. My name is Eva Chin and I founded the company Maya Therapeutics focused on finding new drug treatments for chronic muscle diseases. If any of you watched the HBO Real Sports Show hosted by Brian Gumbel, you may have heard the gut-wrenching story about Steve Gleason. Gleason is a former NFL football player who helped to get New Orleans Saints back on their feet when they returned to the Superdome and won their first game after Hurricane Katrina. Gleason is now a hero because he is battling ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. Gleason was diagnosed with ALS two years after he retired from pro football, and two years since his diagnosis, he is now wheelchair bound, unable to walk, and unable to feed himself. And with slurred speech, he's now recording video documentary for his infant son. And if statistics hold true, Steve Gleason won't be around to celebrate his son's third birthday. Now it isn't just athletes like Steve Gleason and Lou Gehrig that come down with ALS, but they're everyday heroes in our lives. And I personally have been inspired by Julia Bauer, who is battling ALS and sharing her battle with us. She is our inspiration at Maya Therapeutics. My name is Dr. Eva Chin. I'm a professor at the University of Maryland, and I'm a former drug discovery scientist and project manager with a major pharmaceutical company. I founded Maya Therapeutics because there currently are no drugs available to improve muscle function in patients with muscle diseases. ALS is a neurodegenerative disease. Uh, it causes muscle weakness and eventually paralysis and patients do die due to respiratory failure. The novel strategy that Maya Therapeutics will take is to target the skeletal muscle defect in the disease rather than going after the neuron. Now the problem with ALS is that the current treatment, Rilazol, only extends life by two to three months. And we feel that with a new muscle-based drug, we can improve not only lifespan, lifespan, but patient mobility and breathing function and therefore quality of life. So Maya Therapeutics is currently in the process of licensing both a preclinical and some clinical leads. And our clinical leads will uh, take on a repurposing or rescuing strategy which is important in the biomedical field because these compounds already have data in human clinical trials and we can move quickly into phase two clinical trials. The challenge is that those are costly. So we are looking to move a clinical compounds into a clinical trial within two years at a cost of about a million dollars. We think that by three years we can have data on over 100 patients and then move quickly towards registration. ALS will be our initial target uh, market, but then we can expand into other rare diseases like muscular dystrophy, and then eventually into age-related muscle atrophy, which would be the billion dollar market. We, would, we are looking for an initial investment of $1.5 million and would plan an exit strategy within seven years and offer a tenfold return on investment. Myotherapeutics also will have an early revenue stream from some diagnostic tests that we are developing. Again, my name is Eva Chin. I founded Myotherapeutics because I'm passionate about finding treatments for people like Steve Gleason and Julia Bauer, and we hope that with new therapeutic treatments aimed at improving muscle function, that uh, Gleason and patients like Julia Bauer will be able to celebrate many birthdays with their children and grandchildren. You can contact me through my website at www.myotherapeutics.com or at the University of Maryland in the School of Public Health. Thank you all.